time for the adventure of Sir Daniel Fortescue. Will he be able to save Galomir? Let us find out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one. And I'm player two. And finally, welcome to the start of Medieval. Hey, so I know it's been a while since I've been on. Uh, unfortunately, someone's doxed me to the higher ups. <laughs> One. I just... So I had to move out of Zimbabwe. Oh, you're out of Zimbabwe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for that. I am sorry. Let's take a detour through Greenland. That shit's cold. Uh. Yeah, anyway, we're starting at the, the PlayStation home because I'm pretty sure this goes straight into a cutscene and we couldn't really time it well. But there you go. Also, how would you like the new intro? I'm kind of cooking with editing. Not played this game? Oh. This man hated his fellow citizens for their simple and peaceful ways. So he raised an army of demons and set out to take the realm for his own. The king's champion, Sir Daniel Fortescue, led the militia in the battle against this unholy horde. Songs are still sung of how he spearheaded the charge deep into the accursed multitude. How demons fell before him like wheat before the scythe. And how at last, though mortally wounded, he destroyed the sorcerer utterly. Fortescue went down in history that day as the hero of Galamir. And a time of peace began, which was to last for a hundred years. And then, the sorcerer returned. Well, damn. So I've seen a little bit of this, and, uh, pretty sure that's all bunk. Only thing I've seen of this man was that he was in PlayStation All-Stars. The stories are bunk. He did not kill the sorcerer. He didn't even make it 10 steps on the battlefield. Oh, oh, so he's a fraud. Not of his own volition, mind you. He didn't live long enough to do that. Why do you think he's missing an eye? We were saying this before. Yeah, this game is just kind of quiet. For future episodes, I may just have to bump up the volume more. Nasty man. Why does he have spikes on the side of his face? He's not human, whatever the hell he is. That's literally a spike coming out of an orifice. Ugh. Why is he choosing now to come back? That is a good question. Oh, I know why. Hmm. He's coming back to visit your mother. And there it is. E. Ah, oh, damn, it's the big fart.
Oh. Oh yeah, that happens sometimes. Don't worry, you're good. You. Ah yes, what every fa, what every mother needs: self-defense, Pam. She took self-defense classes from Rapunzel. No, she taught Rapunzel. See how old that lady was? Ugh. Goldilocks. I guess someone needs a hand. <laughs> All great zombies. <laughs> All right. So we have. We had all those, now we actually get to the title screen. Whoa, wee, ooh. You know, for the longest time, I, I didn't realize this was a pun. I thought it was just medieval, like the actual word, but no, it's medieval. It Explain the pun. Because instead of medieval, like the actual word, it's medi-evil. Like evil, and then whatever the hell medi means. Two, but sorry, one, I'm two, ugh. Oh, he had a little one, brain. Mm -hmm. hit the Google. Hit the Google? Hit the Google. For what? Medi. Medi prefix? Yes. All right. Oh, here, here's the flashback. Damn. See? Damn. He was charging, though. He was going valiantly. It says Medi it means middle. So middle evil. I don't think uh -huh. mm. Dan's crypt. Here he is, there's the man. Little goofy man. It has risen again. Sir Daniel Fortescue. See? The hero of Gallomere who fell at the first charge. The fog of war and the shrouds of time conspire to turn the arrow fodder into the savior of the day. But we know's better. Oh. Let it alone. Fate has given it a second chance. A chance to forget the ignoble truth. A chance to defeat Sarah and live up to the legend. We hope it as well. Thank God we got subtitles because I did not know Dan actually said words there. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. So I know you saw that gold. Get that gold. Yummy. Oh. Hidden chestos. Very nice. Okay. How's it feeling so far? Oh. Oh. All right. Same? Okay. So, somehow you have taken off your arm and are now... have a whacking stick. You must be out of shape after 100 years lying on your back. Use the crypt to get to grips with your new lease on life. Okay, so tutorial level. Nice, nice and simple. Any treasure 
treasure that you find will be added to your coin total. Coins are used to buy items from the greedy merchant gargoyles. Um, Dan was not reading that book. His head was turned 180 degrees. You will find life bottles throughout Galamir. They contain the same magic that rose you from your slumber and will raise you from the dead once again. When your life is low, using this bottle will help you feel a little better. And remember to fill it when you can. Okay, so I think that's every bottle is another health bar. I think. It said a little better. At the end of the hall. To unlock the gates, you must find a rune stone and place it in the ornate hand set next to the doorway. Alright. Find the MacGuffin. Oh, we got big chests. Throwing daggers. Some weapons contain powers and abilities beyond the ordinary. Be sure to test every weapon to discover their secondary abilities. Some weapon abilities are immediate, and some may need a bit of time to charge before they realize their full potential. Okay. Neat. Alright, it says you got. 100 thrown daggers, I think. You can have two weapons, alright. Ooh. That's cool. There's the rune. Sword? Ooh. through Galamir, you will collect many items. To see your items or to use one, review your inventory. In it, you will also find your book of Galamir, which will keep a record of the denizens you've encountered and bestow you with keen insights that only a disembodied voice could provide. Yeah, who are you, lady? Oh. How do I? Hmm. It's probably touchpad. I don't know what that button would be for you. He's an Xbox controller. Oh, a shield. All right, we'll we'll figure this out. How many buttons could it be? Oh. Spin attack, okay. Hmm. Maybe... I don't know how an Xbox controller looks like. I don't know if you have a, a button that could be the touchpad. I don't think I do. Well, no inventory for you then. Ah, that's how I block. Tracing his diabolical odyssey through Galamir. You can spot the exits from an area by looking out for his stinking trail of magic slime. Ew. Pause. Uh, it's stinky slime. Yes. So yes, sir, also looked. Yeah, you don't got a you don't got a touchpad button. It it just don't exist. So no inventory for you. Dang. I guess we're really gonna be like that, huh? We might have to work together on that if you want to go to your inventory. All right. I guess this is first actual level. The graveyard. Whoa. 
Take your first steps as a hero and slay some helpless zombies. They may seem cranky, but they just woke up from a nice long nap. Honestly, I'd be pissed too if I was woken up from my eternal slumber. What is this? Rat? No, it's a hand. Oh, it's a hand. Yeah. Rabbit, rabbit. Sound like Crazy Dave. All right, you killed that guy, and the chalice meter went up. Is that kill all the enemies? What's the chalice meter? There was a meter at the top right that filled up by 3% when you killed that guy. Welcome back to your beloved Galamir. The stinking dead have risen up to dance with the lifeless living, and they want to do it over your dead body. Nice. You. Yeah, that. Now we're at ten percent. Also, I believe there's an achievement for killing a guy with your arm. Although, I don't know how you re-equip your arm. Oh. Okay, a rune. How stuff I get there. supposed to intervene in mortal affairs, but when they heard that Sir Daniel Fortescue had a shot at redemption, well, they decided to give you a hand with your depth perceptions. <laughs> you will circle enemies, helping you direct your ranged attacks, but he'll also let you know what things might merit a closer look. Okay. So, basically what it is, is uh, Sparks from Spyro. That small light... I see, it's auto-aim. Uh. Oh, healing. Don't let zombies get you down. Tend those wounds by stepping into this fountain of rejuvenation. Very cool. I think that's also how you will refill your bottles. Oh, you destroyed that tombstone. I need to go back and kill those and destroy the tombstones. That's... Hmm. That's Hunky D. Dory. I don't know what kind of collectibles are in this game, but I assume there's a good number. to view the world from a different point of view. Be sure to take a moment from time to time to enjoy the beauty of our beloved Galamir. Keep your eye peeled for anything interesting. Dan Cam. I said L2. Over the shoulder? Okay. Now we're playing Resident Evil. If I didn't have to hold down the button for so long, I I wouldn't mind playing the game this way. 
Oh, why is it hold the button? It should just be press the button. Hmm. Neat. Nope, you gotta press and hold. You know, there probably isn't anything in the tombstones. At least, maybe. I don't know. I'm gonna heal up real quick. Oh, oh my. Is this a hard game? They just kind of jumped you from the start. does that mean? Secret under the angel? Oh, ho 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 ho, he ho ho ho. Okay, so seems like that's our main collectible. Kill all the enemies, find the chalice. All right. And there we are. Oh, I guess it's not all the enemies? I guess so. It's just literally just a fight pit down here. Put him into the pit. Nice. Alright, what's the other way?
Oh. What is that? Oh, a bottle. Nice. And then it seems <laughs> like you... Some money and bodies. Go into the pit. Okay, so from what I'm seeing so far, you gotta get the chalice, you gotta get any bottles, any weapons, and that seems to be it so far. Okay. All right, we can walk in the shallow water, but beware the deep. All right. Can you? Oh, I thought that was like a. Well, there's... I think there's to a new area. Yeah, yeah, that's the exit. But I feel like there was another way we could have gone. There is. You know what I wish there was, but there probably isn't. What? A map. It seems like the game that would benefit from a map, but they won't give it to you. Oh, it's a shop. Ah. Oh. No more, no more buggies. Okay. So we can replenish throwing daggers, and that's about it. Are you a I wonder, is there multiple exits for a level? Oh, this is oh, the yeah, only other place thing. here. This, what is this thing? The living world lies beyond these skull gates. The master of the hilltop mausoleum, the stained glass demon, has possession of the skull key. Okay. So we have to kill a boss in order to go that way. I see. Okay, okay, that's pretty, pretty cool. So where do we go to the Hall of Heroes? I believe it might be on the map. The overworld. So I guess we're done with this level for now. All the Ooh. mightiest heroes are celebrated here. Oh, we just automatically go there. Okay. Welcome to the Hall of Heroes, where the bravest warriors from history spend eternity feasting, singing, and arm wrestling. Valhalla. If you think you're worthy enough, you may be able to persuade them to give you a new weapon. Yes, please. To pay 
homage to the heroes stand in front of their designated statues and await spiritual guidance. Robin Hood? No, your mother. Oh, hey, we got one. Wait, that seems different from the others. It is. I don't think that's actually there. I think that's a... Ah, that's spectral. We have to prove ourselves. Yeah, that's where it would go if we had one. Kenny Tim. How I wish I could fight at your side again, sir. But hold, you could take my crossbow. It's got rapid fire and you can ricochet the darts off walls to shoot around corners. I used it at the Battle of Galamir. After you were slain, I shot Sarek's champion, Lord Kada. A clean kill through the eye at some thousand yards. Not that there's anything yeah. clever about shooting someone in the eye, sir. Oh. Goodbye, sir. Uh, th thank you, Kenny Tim. Uh, we have a crossbow. And we have one chalice. Okay, that thing... That thing goes. Why... Why is it so tiny? Okay. So it's rap its special thing is that it's rapid fire and bounces off walls. Yes. It doesn't have a secondary, just if you hold the button it, it just keeps going. Yes. Okay, okay. Well alright then. One level down, and I think with that we'll end it there. I've been player one. I've been player two. And we'll see you next time when we keep going. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.